What's going on Axie fam, Elijah here back with another video. And today I'm gonna be covering a very popular build in Arena right now, which is the Shrimp Aqua with a mech backliner. Now this build is fairly straightforward to play, which I think is part of the reason why it's becoming so common in Arena. It's fun, it's fast, it's powerful, and I'm gonna talk about maybe some adjustments that you can make in your game. Now I have the premium midliner here. I think this is the best that you can do right now as far as your Aqua. I have seen, however, this build with a high damage beast or bug card on the back, which I think is also super strong because sometimes you end up facing the immortal plants at the midline. And if you have risky beast on your back, for instance, that gives you a shot in the 1v1 if they have gravel. Let's just take a quick look at what that actually goes for right now. Uh, yeah, this is actually not that expensive. It's 0.11, which for the market is on the higher end right now, but I think it's a super strong Axie. I might actually pick one of these up myself and play around with it. So you definitely have this as an option. You can also go with clamshell on the horn or this same one with Oranda, but goldfish instead of blue moon is gonna be a lot cheaper. It's not as strong, the blue moon is preferred, but way more pricey. As far as your mech, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because it's similar to what I discussed in my previous video. I actually wanna get a lot into gameplay today, but you do have the option of something like this. Make sure you're searching 49 speed on all these builds. You can go with the Arco, Gota, Hair, and the hero. I think there's something really nice about the double nut and the just sheer firepower that you have. The Arco is great for late game speed up potential. And I personally like to have a plant up front with Bidens and some heal so I can deal with poison if it's out there. I don't have another way of really countering it on my mid or back Axie. And I like having the extra energy to make my decisions. I'm a big fan of trying to like slow the game down, keep my options open and find out plays. So I'm just gonna jump into it. Okay, so this is interesting. We're up against double bug discards, but he's got the plant on the back, which I I think is like the more budget version of doing this. Ideally, you want the Koi Aqua. The one with Balloon is the most sick of all of them. But I gotta talk about a misconception that you see here a lot with double discard teams. I think people feel like they have to rush into playing all their cards when you know it's not always the best decision. I do have three really good Aqua cards, but mostly always they play whatever they have and the front uh, bug is gonna have a lot of shield here. So I'm actually gonna risk like Losing uh, one of my aqua cards, I think, and like letting him burn something up front. And there we go, 209 shield. That is what I am talking about. And this is something that people really don't do against the bugs, but I think like you gotta work it in. Those, those nifty passes are gonna win you games and we got to see it there. Now, uh, I'm gonna try for this and hope he doesn't have another fish snack. I mean, if he doesn't, then that's a clean kill. I will also try to protect my plant up front and hopefully this bursts the bug and I get a little damage in on this next bug and turn off the pincer so I can pass a little more comfortably in the following round. That's at least going to be my plan. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, he doesn't get another fish knack, which is great. That looks like a parasite or a sandal, which actually I think he's gonna get that damage off, but not the end of the world. Oh, no, he's not actually because his plant goes first. So this is really, I mean, the, the highlight in this game, I mean, I think it's GG here. I don't see him coming back from this, but the highlight's the round one. I hope that that's a useful tip for you guys. Don't force your moves in these matchups. I know it's scary. I know these bugs are a nightmare and you can end up with your cards just flying all over the place, but you will also find a lot of success by making the unorthodox play in Axie. And I've had wins versus these teams, even without the cattail up front, believe it or not, simply by picking my spots a little more carefully. Now, I think he's got uh, two energy or so. I will go ahead and just pass here. I don't think I have to force an attack. All right, plays two plant cards. Damn, that would have been a kill on that bug if I had gone for it, but maybe I should have. However, I think now we just do this. We use the shrimp to get rid of the stun. We play all four aqua cards and a hero and hope that it's enough to kill this thing. Yeah, 154 shield. That's just simply not gonna be enough. This is gonna be a dead bug. I should have ended with blue moon in case he somehow ended up in last stand with like a crit. I would have got a card, so that was a miss order. But yeah, this is game over from here. I'm just gonna pass until I have enough to knock his socks off with my mech. Oh yeah, he knows the deal. I think it's a quick resign by him. Is he gonna try to fight this one? I wouldn't if I were you. Yeah, okay, there you go. 
Okay, let's go for one more here. We're up against a Aqua Bird. Oh, this dude is good. Like I played him a lot. This is a really strong team and he plays it well. I have to do this correctly. And this will be what I was talking about with potentially if he kills my plant fast enough and has the balloon on my aqua that's going to cause me a lot of problems so i'm going to try to like not have that happen round one not a great play could play the single hot butt to turn off the serious next round and get a safer pass in but i don't know if i want to do that actually i'm just going to pass okay so here we go he's bringing the heat that looks like it's going to be a series a oh okay two damage cards no energy steals that's big that's big but we definitely want to be like protecting now, right? We cannot have our plant die straight up. Oh my goodness. There's our back door. Ah, <sighs> but we don't quite have it. Do we? Do we? Do we? He only has two energy though. And I got to say, if a bird does nothing these days, right with his shield, he'll die to just these two cards. You know what? I'm going to try. Come on one time. Let me just get this in one time. Come on, come on, no shield, no shield. Yes, let's go. I swear this guy beats me more than I beat him, like definitely, so I don't know if it's in the bag honestly yet because his aqua is actually disgusting and can pull this off sometimes. However, the problem for him now is that he's you know, in a situation where he has very little aqua damage himself so you know it's gonna be hard for him to get through my midliner i'm feeling pretty good overall i think i've seen one serious there so he's back to three energy but he doesn't you know he can't play another one because i played hot butt last round so i think my best bet is to pass here avoid another cattail wait for a combo okay plays a cactus now he probably has the other cattail he's got four energy as well which is like a little bit concerning but not the end of the world. Let me think here for a second. Can he kill me with four energy with his aqua? He can definitely speed up though and then kill me next round. Ah, oh, shit. Four energy, here we go, what do I do? I think what I have to do, this is, this is kind of awkward. Honestly, I think I have to start chipping away at his aqua because this damage is so much more useful on this even though he's gonna have a lot of shield and then I can consider like a speed up type of play against this plant to go before his aqua with a double arco potentially. Okay, let's see what happens here. It's gonna be a lot of shield on that. Yeah, okay. That's fine though, that's that's fine. We expected this. This is a full clip by him, four energy, but it's gonna make my mech have a much better chance in a future 1v1 scenario versus his aqua. I'm surprised I didn't see the other cattail. That's a little bit uh, frustrating. I mean, surely I see it here, but I think what I do is, I think I just chip away and then Double Arco, double hero next round. What's gonna happen? Okay, he plays two plant cards. Wow, no, that was no uh, cattail by him. Very interesting stuff happening here. Double Arco, double hero. I think this is my move. I can do it. I mean, I don't know if I'll have enough next round. <sighs> Let me think, let me think. I think, what does he have? Only two energy? Double Arco hero, make sure I have two heroes next round to kill his Aqua. That's gotta be the play. Oh my God, this dude's gonna live? What the fuck? Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Whew, man, that was a lot of shield, 100 shield. Okay, now we're good. We do double speed up. He did get two energy back, so I'm expecting to see a huge brick wall. But like, come on, two nut cards, two heroes? Like, he can't live through this no matter what. This has to be too much damage. See, this guy, he's he's crafty and he, uh, he knows what he's doing. Hats off to infinite.gg or Atello, I guess. Um, but that was a tough, tough battle there. And a really strong team by him. That's one that you guys can consider as well as you push is the Aqua Midliner, the, the Hairbird uh, in the back. Really a classic build that has a lot of firepower and outplay potential, especially with that egg. On that note, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. You know, there's some really budget deals I mentioned in my previous video. You got the dual blade version for 0.06. If you're brand new to the game, you can go this route. It was even cheaper a few days ago. Um, if you're trying to save some money once you get into the Arco territory we jump up to what 0.08 and again That's at a 49 speed build, but this is really strong as you could see and of course up front Cattail is a good idea for sure um, You know you could try something like cattail leaf bug, but then you really have no great um, 
outcome versus the poison teams. It's kind of hard to say. Cattail Bidens, but then what? Maybe with Zigzag and Beach? I used to like this build. There's no energy gain, but the two zero costs kind of make up for it. You could try something like this uh, as well, potentially 0.06. Nice price, gives you that uh, late game potential versus the poisons. I think that could be another solid option. So my final thoughts on this build, I think it's a great beginner build. I think you can definitely uh, learn the timing of it and push into the top 100 with this. Uh, I see it at the very top, different forms of it for sure. And it's also a fairly reasonably priced build at the moment. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. It's at Elijah underscore MT8. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.